fell back, that would get her back to nine. And here is Lynn Grant with whom she was tied. Good start for Lynn today. This was at five. Presented by Versa from Odyssey. And this was Lynn for birdie at a par three. Yeah, she forgot about the par threes there. She mentioned you got to birdie the par fours, but she can birdie the par threes as well. Ideally, you want to avoid all the bunkers, the bunker down the left and then the through bunker, which she can easily reach. And this is tight down oh. the left side. <laughs> Another really lucky bounce. Mm, just got a little short with that backstroke. Start it far enough left, so three putt bogey there, bogey seven and nine coming in there, so decent start early. Got a little bit of extra pop in in this than the previous two swings. Just waited for a little gust of wind. It's really starting to pick up a bit right now out here. More than any point yesterday, right, Karen? The flag is lying limp, but there is plenty of wind up there. No. A wonderful golf swing. Really rotated yeah, that's blistered. Yep. Oh my, what a kick, what a roll. Look at this thing. Beautiful tee shot, got a chance for birdie here. She's going to be a, a fixture on leaderboards for, for many years to come out here. Just just super talented player, and uh, I know that Suzanne Pedersen is exceedingly happy about having her around now for the European team in the Solheim Cup. And then I had a little slip up on the seventh hole, the par five. And it's just been kind of pretty quiet ever since, just as that wind really started to pick up, making it difficult out here. It's classic, you know, sports psychology 101, isn't it? You know, you, that's all you've got. Played at Arizona State. That'll work. Oh, that would. I was going to say that probably would have been enough to carry all the bunkers down on, on the <laughs> left side. That was huge. Absolutely. Well, you saw the way Jin Young Ko's ball rolled. I mean, this one has to be slow back up the hill. Oh, she really gave that a wrap. Did she have it? Yes. Good read. Nice putt. There you go. Got this group going in the right direction finally. Nice putt there at 15. She is right on the current cut line as we take you to the 16th. And Karen, we see that Lynn Grant is not just hitting nine of 11 fairways, but as you have told us, hitting it a long way. She really is. But this one is a little bit down the right side. She's got to need some help here. Hmm. She was, they were, her and her caddy were walking down the right side looking to, to find the ball. And I'm like, it came over here. This is an eight arm from 159. We talk about angles. You couldn't have a more perfect angle, Karen. Nope. Taking advantage there of a good break. Well, not only that, but if it kicks right the same amount it kicked left, it's out of bounds. There you go. Instead, she'll walk away with a tap in par. Finally here in the U.S. and trying to win for the first time on the LPGA Tour. Uh, they can really be sneaky if you if you lose your concentration a bit. Yeah, if that speed, it's not going to move much, but good par, I guess. I know she wanted to make birdie. Slope of the greens with the speed, with your intended speed. Tee shot for Lynn Grant at 18. Ideally, you want to avoid all the bunkers, the bunker down the left, and then the through bunker, which she can easily reach. And this is tight down oh. the left side. <laughs> Another really lucky bounce. They're going to play in threes tomorrow. And um, with that round of two under par 69, 